What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush. And we're going back to her 1993 album, The Red Shoes. And the next tune is The Song of Solomon. I don't know if we're talking the biblical Solomon, but um, there's a lyrical quality to the title itself. Uh, ultimately, I suppose it could be related to some other historical or public figure with the given name Solomon, but I have no idea where to begin with that, so let's find out, and perhaps this will be one where I will lean on people's insight in the comments. This is Kate Bush, the track is The Song of Solomon, and it's from the 1993 album The Red Shoes.
was thinking when the song first started uh, and Kate really came in vocally that it had been too long since I had heard her voice and I do appreciate the patience you know so many deep dives um, it's just hard to get around to everything and sometimes even like ones that have been very um, voluminous uh, or very um, significant in the like history of the journey going through multiple albums I mean um, even those slip off every once in a while but yeah the moment she came in it was like number one you know I haven't heard this voice in long enough and number two I keep going back I forget who made the comment and it was months ago you know six seven months ago um, but that her voice has been considered um, or like held up by um, music people as being you know a perfect instrument like it's you know one of the most representative um, voices when it comes to how versatile the human voice can be um, this is another one where we hear different Kate's um, you know um, triumphant um, super high and powerful like strained and um, you know super intense like soft like supporting vocals um, just you know a, a range of deliveries over the course of a single track also, I love the composition, um, which, you know, if the whole, like, percussive feel, it felt, you know, sort of maritime, or, you know, it felt like we were on the water, like, in progressing through the track. I will say, anytime I hear poetry in motion, it's hard not to think of um, Mr. Dolby, um, and bl she blinded me with science, but, um, yeah, ultimately, lyrically, it sounds like she's saying, like, I don't want complications, I don't want hang-ups, I don't want excuses, I don't want your bullshit. First time I heard that line, I was not shocked, but I was surprised uh, to hear that phrasing. <clears throat> but ultimately, um, yeah, it sounds like she wants a physical encounter, and she doesn't want the trappings that maybe you know are often associated with it. Um, and ultimately, I'm not sure about... Um, the wider context of, you know, who this other person is and, you know, in what situation in life they are, but um, that seemed to be the main, like, essence of the, the chorus, I think, so um, do correct me if I'm wrong, um, and ultimately, you know, the way in which this is the Song of Solomon, I'm definitely uncertain about that, but um, perhaps, you know, she's playing a character in history or literature or scripture, so... Um, either way, um, a really compelling tune that reminds me of how much I like Kate's voice, not that I had forgotten or anything, but again, going through so many other deep dives, I'm trying to catch up on this and catch up on this and oh man, I need to get back to Kate and then it starts and it's like, oh, <laughs> like that's why, that's why right there. So, um, yeah, really cool tune. And again, going into this album, it's not that I heard like a, a wide variety of criticism or anything, but I definitely heard some mixed opinions and you know, whether... People thought it was Kate, you know, just being Kate and, you know, continuing her creative genius or whether people thought, you know, it's maybe not as impactful as some of the albums from the 80s. But either way, um, I'm definitely enjoying the journey through this. And this is another example of why. So uh, from Luca and I, do let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.